Hey, it's actually kind of nice out. I hope so, because it don't look like it. It's not even cold. Let me come out to a nice little hot spot here. What? And it's kind of raining, so we're just going to walk the shoreline, go over to the creek, and see if we can find some salamanders. Try to dig something up. We're running about 60 degrees, so we'll just see what happens. Is that a cow? I think it's Bigfoot. Yeah, it might be. What'd you get? <laughs> I'm the best fisherman ever. Didn't even put a pole in the water and you got a catfish. Yep. Just turned up a prairie ringneck snake. Fairly decent size. I was going to say grabbing kind of a goofy looking thing. A <laughs> narrow mouth toad. Right behind the eyes there's a little fold of skin there. Yep. Beautiful ring neck. Oh yeah, that's got great color. Man, I never get tired of looking at those. A what? Garter snakeus foodius. Garter snakeus foodius. Yep. An earthworm. <laughs> What's that? Two ringnecks. So tell me what happened. Uh, there was a big colony of ants under here crawling on these ringnecks. And they'll and sometimes we'll... kill the ringnecks. And a ringneck. A black wow. ringneck with a bright orange stripe. And a... Narrow. Oh, Pretty... look at that dull belly. Very dark belly. That's awesome. I've never seen one like this. I haven't either. Huh? Little planchers. Where? Right there. Right in between those three. Oh, yeah. Doors. Okay. Come up with the neonate northern water snake. It's got a pretty good pattern. Oh, look at the color, Lane. I'm sure the video doesn't do it any justice, but that is one of the brightest red-sided garters I've ever seen. What'd Here's you get? a little color comparison for you. Another red-sided. Yeah, that's actually a bright one. Yeah, this is an average garter snake you find. Right here, this color. Compared to that. Yeah. Man, some of them are so hard to find. That's why it's so cool when you find one out here in Kansas because you almost never find them. The last, our, the last uh, salamander we found was what? Four, Four five, five, no, five, five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. And we found this really dark ring neck with a really bright ring. And it's another one of them dark ones. Red-sided garter snake doing the death roll and looking out. Hold him down. Red milk snake. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. Still, red milk snake, no pictures yet. Nope. That's awesome. Yep, that's the one that's eluded us. Now you got it, good find. And my dad just caught three of the biggest ring necks I've ever seen in my life under the same rock. Look at the size of that, that's, that's... gotta be a Foot and a half, no. No, it's probably 14 inches, I would say. 14 inch prairie ring neck. There goes another one. Hey, there went another one. Oh, he just got you good. And I saw this rock sitting on the hillside. So I flipped it up and there's another milk snake. And thankfully my dad was here, otherwise I wouldn't have got it. Along with about 20 ringnecks that went back in this little hole there. There's a woolly bear. That's the only bear you'll see in Kansas. He's 
pretty cool. Keep moving. Just come look. No, you know what this is? What? This is... And there's a dead mouse. This is the milk house. Oh. Once mm -hmm. they would milk their cows, they would put the milk in this little cistern here which has a natural spring coming right through that hole and they pipe it in here so it's oh probably 40 45 degree water would come in here and then it would exit right there on that little hole Extreme close-up! Nope, he's right there. I see his tail. See him? Yeah. Get him. Got him. Do you? No, you don't. Get him. Get him. Burrowed. He's right here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Right there. Got him? <laughs> no, you don't have him. He's right there. You got him further back. Got now him. you got him. Look at the size of that one. Full tail. Good sized. Skink. Always fun finding them. It's hard to get them though. This is a pretty one. Yeah, it's got a pretty good pattern. Yeah. And full tail, which is 